Idol's Eye. The recorded history of this 70.2 carat flawless oval diamond traces the stone back to the early part of the 17th century when it was found in India Golconda region. In 1607, the East India Company seized the stone from its owner, a Persian prince named Rahab, as payment for his debts. The stone then disappeared from public record for almost 300 years. In 1906, it was rediscovered in the possession of Sultan Abdul Hamid II of the Ottoman Empire. In defense to a legend, however improbable, that it had once been used as the eye of a sacred idol in the temple of Benghazi, the Ottomans, for the most part Muslim, were not allowed to worship idols or statues. The stone was called the idol's eye. Although virtually nothing has been written about the travels of the stone during the three centuries after the East India Company claimed it from the Prince Rehab, two stories in particular have followed the idol's eye to the present. According to one, the diamond came into the possession of the Ottomans many years ago, reportedly part of the plunder from their invasion of Central Asia. Another is that one of Abdul Hamid's predecessor had recklessly abducted the beautiful princess Rashida from her lover, the Sultan of Kashmir. The idol's eye, the Sultan's most treasured possession, was used as a ransom for the safe return of the princess. Just prior to what has become known as the Young Turks Revolt of 1909, the idol's eye, together with the hope and the star of the East, appeared in Paris. Originally intended to provide a comfortable retirement for the Sultan, who anticipated a hasty retreat from the throne. The three stones had been stolen by his messenger and sold to French pawn shops. The idol's eye was subsequently purchased by a Spanish nobleman, then came into the possession of a London bank, and eventually was obtained by a Dutch diamond dealer, from whom Harry Winston purchased the stone in November of 1946. In a whirlwind deal that took him from New York to London and back before others were even aware that the stone had been offered for sale. In 1947, Mr. Winston sold the idol's eye to Mrs. May Bonfilis Stanton of Denver, Colorado. At the time, it was mounted as the center stone in a necklace that included 86 other diamonds, which weighed a total of 35 carats. In 1962, after the death of Mrs. Stanton, the idol's eye was sold at auction in New York City.